Hello, my name is Glenda Harrison, and I am the Traveling Professor. These are my reflections related to Chapter 2, titled Cultures. The values and norms vary within each culture. Our norms and values would probably be viewed as strange to other cultures, such as a village in Kenya or a village in India. We see even within our own society, cultural traditions vary from the Cajun, African American, Hispanic, Asian, and of course Caucasians. A perfect example is studying the differences in funeral and wedding traditions based upon the various ethnic groups. We can even go one step farther. We could divide each ethnic category into subsections and find different customs related to funerals, weddings, and other rites of passage throughout a person's lifespan. The difference in our viewing our global world through the sociological lens of cultural relativism are from an ethnocentric perspective. So what are these two concepts? The ethnocentric perspective is related to using one's own culture, that is the norms and values, as a measuring stick against another culture. Or we can view the world from a cultural relative standpoint, which acknowledges the differences in the values, but does not judge them. Now, westernized viewpoints tend to believe our way is the best. We even state, ugh, how could they eat that? Our why and how do they believe that way? That might be viewed in a gray area as being judgmental. One example is incest. There are cultures existing requiring under certain circumstances, as cited by Henslin, a brother and sister are to marry. In addition, a tribe in Africa allows for a son and mother to have sex in order to break a curse. Henslin also gives the example of the Native American Indian traditions allowed incest within many of the tribes. It is hard to sometimes not to view another cultural tradition from an ethnocentric standpoint. When we read about, for example, female genital mutilation, we become enraged at the brutality. Although it is currently against the law in most countries, it is still accepted and practiced within many tribal traditions. Many of the practices are now being viewed by the organization UNICEF under the domain of human rights within the framework of the United Nations. We can ask ourselves, do we have the right to establish boundaries of what is accepted as humane and not humane treatment? If so, how is each case to be viewed? What legal system is to be used? The United States? Or should these cases fall underneath United Nations? Or the European court system? We will be reviewing these two concepts plus many more as we move into our discussion on cultures. Please feel free to share related to your traveling experiences, either here in the United States or in other countries, related specifically to cultures, but also as we move throughout the course. This is coming from the traveling professor in my beach bungalow 
on the Gulf Coast of the great state of Texas. Thank you.